back in the 17th century, another Swedish chemist whose name was J. Berzelius determined the atomic masses of elements. He was also behind developing a system of allotting each element a special symbol. You know, atoms are so minute that it is not humanly possible to see them with the naked eye or even with a simple microscope. This is because an ordinary microscope measures an object up to the size of 500 nanometer or above. And do you know how small one nanometer is? One nanometer is equal to 10 to the power minus 9 meter. To solve this issue, electron microscopes are used. These electron microscopes use beams of electrons instead of visible light since electrons have a much shorter wavelength than that of visible light which is around 0.01 nanometer. Using these shorter wavelengths in an electron microscope, we can easily observe an atom or any object having a size of an atom. Take a look at this figure right next to me. These are not random lines, rather it is a photograph of graphite observed from an electron microscope. This has been magnified to about 15 million times. Can you imagine how zoomed in that magnification is? It clearly indicates the insignificant size of the atom, doesn't it? Also, can you spot those bright bands of lines? These are the layers of carbon atoms in graphite. In the 20th century, using X-rays, it was discovered that the diameter of an atom is 2 into 10 to the power minus 10 meters, which is equal to 0.2 nanometer. Pretty small, right? Now, if we talk about the mass of an atom, it ranges from 10 raised to the power minus 27 to 10 raised to the power minus 25 kg. Indeed, it is a very small number and it is expressed as atomic mass unit, AMU, where 1 AMU is equal to 1.661 into 10 raised to the power minus 27 kg. Looking at this value, once again, you can have an idea how tiny an atom actually is. In addition to this, let me put forth an interesting fact. Did you know? the punctuation full stop we put after a sentence, even that tiny little dot consists of about 2 million atoms. Now, isn't that absolutely fascinating?